this is interesting to me um, because in the shop, we like to talk about a lot of what ifs. And when the Retron 5 came out, a lot of people were like, hey, wouldn't this be cool if it did this or that? Um, Why can't it play every system ever? <laughs> right. Wouldn't it be cool? <laughs> but one thing that has come up a lot recently with uh, certain collectors and players is, uh, wouldn't this be cool if it played Turbo Graphics or PC Engine? And there's a system or- coming out of Japan um, called the Retro Freak that is going to do that. So it is basically a Retron 5. It is going to do Famicom, uh, Mega Drive, uh, Super Famicom, uh, all the Game Boys, and PC Engine, but it will also include PC Effects. Uh, I'm sorry, not PC Effects. It will also include uh, P- Super Graphics and, and Turbo Graphics. And Turbo graphics. Yeah. So it's covering a lot of ground it, there. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same system except for the the PC Engine stuff, like you said. And, and then instead oh. of it, an NES slot, you have a Famicom slot. You're probably able to use a converter. Yeah, you would be able to use, I'm sure, a 72 to 60 pin converter, and I'm sure, hopefully, you would be able to use uh, a you know a, a, a Power Base Junior or something and, in the Genesis slot. And for and for our listeners that don't know that, the slots for uh, Super Famicom and Super Nintendo are the same as are for Mega Drive and Genesis. So you don't have to worry about that. So otherwise, you're good to go here. It's so- interesting because with this one, you can dump the game to uh, the system. Um, but to kind of prevent the whole ROM piracy thing, it's got this neat little... So the cartridge slot part of it is a separate unit from, um, the, from, the, system. Uh, from the actual system, which That's is actually very, very small. It's like a solid-state drive. And you can pull it out and take it with you and take it to your friend's house and hook it up to a TV. You don't need the cartridge slot part attached to it to play it. So once you dump these games, it becomes your own little portable uh, video game system. Which is cool, and because uh, there is, uh, to my knowledge, there is no SD card out, you can't really... It doesn't necessarily encourage piracy. Um, Well, it has to be stored somewhere, though. Right, it's stored on, on an internal drive, just like it is with the Retron Five. So the Retron Five is not stored. So on why SD wouldn't you card. be able to dump onto it? Well, no, you can ROM. dump onto it. Well, because if there's no input to be able to dump any ROM onto it, other than the cartridge slot, well, oh, you're you saying can't. you can't do it in mass. You have to do it one at a time. No, you can do it in mass. I'm saying that it doesn't encourage piracy because there's no way that I could see that you can actually put ROMs onto it. You have to pull the ROM directly from a physical copy. Yeah, so again, like I just said, okay. so you can't do a thousand ROMs at once. You have to do them one at a time owning the games. But then once they're on, yes. on there, they're on there. Sure. I think it's a happy medium, and they'll probably be able to hack it anyway. I think it's interesting because, yeah, this is the same concept as the Retron 5 where you're using ROMs that you own, and then you have a, uh, a, a an inter- graphical interface, and it's basically an, using emulators, most likely. Um, and then you have all the benefits of emulator with save states and having audio filters, uh, video filters. It's HDMI out. I love the fact that it, the, it, it's USB uh, ports for a few reasons. It'll keep the cost down. Yes. You don't have to worry about them breaking. And plus now, virtually every single retro console, there's USB adapters out there. They're not, they're not expensive at all. No. You can, you can get Super Nintendo, N64, uh, PS2, GameCube, NES. So that's covered. You can also you know. buy, they, they mentioned that they are developing a controller add-on that would let you use the original controllers. But the controller that it comes with actually looks really nice. It, it looks, looks great. Like a, it looks like a classic controller for the Wii. Yes, where you get the, the, the two triggers. Mm-hmm. I may, and then may, maybe they do one with the analogs too, but either, so you can do well. Maybe they'll do an N sixty four add on. That's the only one. That's... No, they, <laughs> they can't do an N sixty four add on. That's all. That's the only cartridge, strangely or, or or medium that hasn't really been added to these yet. Because because basically, I guess they still aren't really keen on the emulators for N sixty four. Yeah, the totally. internals of the N sixty four, the architecture of the N sixty four is just fucking ass backwards. Yeah. I mean, people are still struggling to make sense yeah. of it with emulation. Going way back when they first released uh, the was it the HLE emulator, it was out of nowhere. It was a shot that they could even emulate the N64 at all because people thought it was impossible to emulate. So obviously nothing's impossible to emulate, but is can you emulate it correctly? correctly. That's the that's the, the 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 key here. Either way, I'm excited for this. No, and I think uh, it, it makes perfect sense because the 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 PC engine was a legitimate competitor to the NES. Oh, in Japan. In oh, Japan. Of course. Yeah. So it makes perfect sense that they would include support for it. So here's a here's a question. W- would would you buy this? Yes, depending on the price point. 
I, you know, I, the funny thing is, I think this will probably be just as expensive, if not probably cheaper, than the Restaurant 5. Something tells me that this is going to probably be cheaper. Maybe not to import, but at least in Japan. Um, and then you'll get, you'll get, you'll get some companies that'll import it here, you know, and, and you know what I mean? It, in, in bulk. And then, um, will it be translated? Will they put an English option? Or will someone hack it? Or like you said, it probably be not that hard to figure out how to just play the cartridges anyway. Maybe maybe for all the filters and things like that, you have a little guide to tell you how to change stuff. If you've ever imported stuff, and I know you have, but I mean, uh, you know, a lot of it is katakana, which is not hard to read. A lot of it, menu stuff, a lot of it's in English. I don't expect this to be tough to navigate. Um, it's not necessarily something I would own, because I don't need to own it. I, 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 I can do what, I, I, what it does, but... Well, for um, space wise, it's, it'd be great for for someone who's capturing a yes. lot of stuff. It'd be it'd be a godsend. But that's what I know. said about the Retron Five. Haters on it can hate it all they want. But for someone who's looking to save space, the Retron Five was a decent pick. This looks like it'll be a better pick. You just are gonna have to in, invest in a couple little peripherals, like a a, a converter, so you can play your NES games. 